Hey everyone, I'm Murtaza from Kwanzer, and I'd like to show you an example of localizing a vehicle in a room. You can use optical localization hardware and software, such as OptiTrack or Vicon solutions, or LiDAR-based SLAM techniques. In this case, I'm going to use an image-based localization technique using April Tags. I'm using the 36H11 April Tag family to localize Kwanzer's QCAR platform in a roughly 4x4 meter office space. I'll be using the Intel RealSense D435 camera on the QCAR as my video capture device. I'll be using MATLAB Simulink with Kwanzer's real-time code generation and deployment software, Quark. I use SketchUp to set up a 3D rendering of my office space. You can see the X and the Y axes labeled on the floor with the X axis pointing towards the door. The Z axis points out of the view. I'm having to set up 10 tags set around my room each set consisting of two tags. This step is optional, but it made it easy for me to place the tags where I saw fit and then extract their pose information for use in my code later. You can skip this step completely and measure the locations of your tags directly. Consider the planar X and Y inertial reference frame axes, as well as the body frame attached to the vehicle itself. You can see that I'm only considering the longitudinal axis X and the lateral axis Y for the vehicle. We are interested in extracting the planar position XY as well as the heading or yaw angle of the vehicle represented using the vector P. Using the gyroscope, encoder-based car velocity as well as the steering, we will also estimate the pose rate by a 3 off bicycle model. To initialize the code, I have set up two scripts. The first script uses a series of images taken using the camera itself at the resolution I'm interested in, which is 640 by 480, to generate the camera intrinsic matrix. The second script allows me to specify the position and orientation of each of the April tags in the world coordinates. This is important as the April tag code provides vehicle pose with respect to the April tag set itself and it will be converted to the world coordinates frame using the information from this script. In Simulink, this first section allows me to read the keyboard arrow keys that I use to drive the car around. This is passed to the IO subsystems, which drives the vehicle using the motor commands from my keyboard. Next, I capture images from the Intel RealSense device and pass them to the April tag code. The April tag code will estimate the pose of the vehicle when the tags are actually found. With information from the hardware I.O. loop, I get the gyroscopic yaw rate, encoder-based vehicle speed, and steering commands, and pass it to my bicycle model to estimate the pose rate of the vehicle. Lastly, sensor fusion allows me to interpolate the vehicle's pose when no tags are found via pose rate integration, and correct using the pose data when tags are actually found. The April tag code consists of the image find tags block at its core, this reports the IDs of the tags found and the location of the corners and center of the tags as well. The next core piece is the image get camera extrinsics block, which gives me the pose of the camera in the frame of reference of the April tag set, which I then convert to world coordinates frame using the information I had set up in the script earlier. Note that I use multiple blocks here, one for each tag set in the room. Once I build C code from my Simulink model using the Quark software, I proceed to deploy it to the vehicle and connect to it in external mode. You can see the view from the Intel RealSense on the bottom right and a third person view on the top left. The image on the top right shows a top view of the entire room with the position of the vehicle. As the car drives around, the red data in the bottom left scope corresponds to the April tag locations predicted by the April tag code and the yellow data corresponds to the pose estimate after sensor fusion. The code allows you to scale up smoothly in case you want to use more tag sets for a much larger room. As the car drives around, I finally bring it back to the center of the room over my XY inertial reference 00, zero and you can see that the vehicle in the estimate also returns back to home. I hope you found this example helpful. I'll see you around next time.